Hello everybody, my name is Bob Massey. For those of you who don't know me, um, I'm a local historian and writer and speaker around the local area. I live in Arnold and I've been studying the history of Arnold for many years. In fact, I'm nearly a resident. I've been there for 45 years, so basically technically I'm still passing through. But having said that, I'm looking at the actual history of the area. Well, today I've just completed a book. Uh, the lockdown has given me a chance to do that and to actually study and look into the research of a bit of a hero of mine. It's a standing joke with those on my local history course that no matter what subject we're talking about, before very long I'll mention William Herbert Higginbottom or at least one of his family. He was a bit of a hero, as I said, of mine, and uh, the reason is very simple. He's unheard of, basically, not many people know about him at all. Uh, yet he was a very prolific architect, and he produced a lot of the iconic buildings that we see in around Nottingham, and in fact a very much wider area. So today we're going to have a look at some of his works, which I hope will surprise you as to the buildings that he's produced. So, thank you very much. This is William Herbert Higginbottom. He was not only an architect, but a politician, a sportsman, and a justice of the peace. His father, Anthony Higginbottom, was a teacher. He had started off in Glossop in Derbyshire and then moved to Leeds. This is where he was living, 239 Meanwood Road. And it's where William Herbert was born on the 22nd of March, 1868. Anthony moved to Arnold to become headmaster of the new British school that had just been built when William was only a month old. This is the British school, used to be on where the market is now in Arnold. This is their cottage where they moved, Dean's Cottage, which eventually became called Higginbottom's Cottage and is now where Sainsbury's. William Herbert attended the University College, now part of Trent University, where he became an architectural student. He became an independent surveyor in 1892.
Well, thank you for listening. I hope that you now know a little bit more about Higginbottoms and the Higginbottom family. I made a considerable study of the whole of the family and uh, I've published a book called A Family of Educators and Architecture, which is now available. And uh, it, it a detailed reading of the Higginbottom family and their influence in the area. Ones we've not covered are the educational side. Anthony Higginbottom, who was the first headmaster of the British school. Maud and Rosie Higginbottom, who were actually headmistresses of two local schools. And their influence on education was just as great as William Herbert. So, if you're interested, please look out for the book. And thank you for listening. Bye.